Hello, um, it's me and you if you're new to this channel, welcome, if you're not so new to this channel, welcome back. Today we're not starting the intro with my face because we're doing my nails today. I thought for Wednesday's video, might as well do my nails because every time I come to the video, I have my nails done, so that's what we're doing today. The setup is a little weird for me because my camera is just focusing on my nails. Um, and I had to move a lot of things around my table to fit. My lamp is here. Oh yeah, uh, we're going to be using gel. We're going to be using poly gel. We're going to be using drills and stuff. So this is not for the faint of heart. Um, also another thing, I am not a professional nail artist and also I should be charging my phone. Why am I not? It's charging now. Yeah, so I'm not a professional nail artist at all by no means. So if you see me doing my nails here, don't take it as advice or any of that. Just this is why I have so many disclaimers in front of my video, just because I don't I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> okay. I think this is good. I don't know if it's the best way. I just know it's the best way it works for me. So don't take my advice here. I'm going to be drilling, I'm gonna be using all this stuff. You shouldn't do what I'm doing. Okay, cool. So yeah, um, there's gonna be a lot of time lapses here today because I'm I'm gonna be drilling a lot. So um, first things first, we're going to fix up these nails. Um, I'm also going to probably do a voiceover because I honestly don't know what else to tell you other than let's go with the video. <laughs> Before I do any drilling, I'm going to remove any gems that I have attached to the nail surface. First, before anything, we're going to be drilling nails. Now I'm using a drill bit. I don't know why I started using this uh, without like caution because, as you can see, I nicked my nails twice. Now I'm using, I forgot which one it was, but I'll probably put a little um, text bubble about it. Um, yeah, so I'm using this drill bit. Around now, remove all the gel and polish that I have on, also to kind of shape it a little bit. And yeah, so that's basically what I'm gonna do for the uh, remaining nails as well.
Alright, so I am cutting the nails for the squirrel and filing it to the perfect shape. Question mark. I'm also drawing it to shape because it, since I did not have a higher apex because my nail was longer, I need to file it down to fit the new shape. Okay, so I kind of uh, glossed over everything I did. The last thing I did was drill cut them. This one, I put poly gel and reformulated it, like, like, made it a little bit more of a straight nail. That's like almost unnatural, but not really. This one, I'm most likely not going to do anything because I nicked it and I'm not going to put poly gel anywhere near that. So, what I did was apply this polish, which I said I was going to do, but I'm going to show you guys how I did it now. So, I just applied it. I do have to apply multiple coats to some of these. And I messed up on camera. That's great. I nicked myself on camera, and then I also messed up with nail polish. I still haven't done this in hand. Probably wouldn't, to be honest, but, you know seem how I feel like it later because honestly I'm in pain my back is killing me and it's because of where I'm sitting at right now once it's multiple coats um I can go ahead and apply top coat I'm using the hollow taco um I really like this polish and the top coat too. This polish is a really pretty color. It does have like a little shimmer to it. I wanted more of a matte one of these, but I couldn't find it. So here we go. This one I put top coat on it because it's already done. And this one needs multiple coats this polish because this is more of a sheer polish and even though it's super light it's more of a sheer polish to be honest the darker it is the less sheer it is um but yeah this one's not gonna get done these need to get done but it'll probably take more time on these than anything oh yeah i let these dry add more coats and then come back when I have to put on the top coat. So yeah. Um, so basically, it's dry now after I put the top coat. As you can see, I painted this one, but I'm not going to really do much to this one because of the fact that um, I nicked it. So what we're going to do, now that the nail polish is completely dry because I did put top coat over it, we're going to put and I freaked out. <laughs> no. No. I'll leave that one alone. I'll top coat it afterwards. <laughs> I guess that's the one that's getting the... The... Oh. Jeez. I guess that one's the one that's getting the foil. Because that one messed up. So I'm just adding the matte top coat. 
I know I should have put the regular taco, but I kind of didn't feel like it, so. Here we go, and I left it for like 15 minutes. At most, 15 minutes. Probably even longer than that, but like, that's what I'm saying at most. Can you even see what I'm doing? Yeah, you can. I have to keep on looking at the camera. I need to see if I'm doing it right or not. Not that I'm doing it right, that you can see what I'm doing. What is this like? There's a whole bunch of chunks in here. Mm, this one I'm just gonna. Is this the. No, that's base coat. I realized I didn't need to put base coat on. I was like, mm, I don't have the base coat. Base coat for what? Specifically. This one is the regular top coat. And I'm just putting it on this one because I messed it up so badly. So I'm gonna just put it in the lamp for 60 seconds. see if anything happened. Please tell me it did not. Please tell me it did not. Oh god, yeah. Okay. So it still works. I thought I almost died thinking that I destroyed my poly gel. So as you can see, these are matte and this one is not matte. So, what does that mean? What does your mean? I don't know what else to tell you. Um, I'm going to use this foil glue, and I'm going to apply it on my index finger. I was going to do it on my ring finger, but it was nicked. <laughs> so I'm just going to go ahead and apply it onto my index finger, and then apply some foil to it, and then... See if I want to mattify it or I want to put gloss over it. So this is going to the lamp for another 60 seconds. So this foil fell, um, but I already know what which one I want to kind of use. I kind of want to use this, but this kind of like. So what I'm going to do is cut the part that I want. And then the part that I don't want, I'm gonna keep it to the side. So I'm just gonna cut this part down. So I kind of did it off camera. I'm sorry, but I basically cut it, cut this piece out. I don't know if you can see it if it only focuses. Let me try and see if I can focus it on this. Okay, so yeah, I cut that piece out because I kind of like how it looks. A little want more, so I'm gonna kind of try and focus that. Oh, wrong way. I'm gonna kind of try and focus this area on the nail and try and line it there. I'm gonna have to do this edge later, but for now. That's what I like, so I'm gonna, and then I'm gonna peel it off. So I kind of got that. You can focus. Um, on this edge, I'm gonna do a little bit more of that. It fell on the floor. Okay. Exactly what I wanted. So on um, this edge, I'm kind of gonna do a little bit more of that. Uh, those lines. I'm gonna press and I'm gonna peel off. Kind of like doing different directions of stuff. And then that edge I'm gonna press again and I'm gonna put more of those lines. See? Just kind of lines and like cute stuff like that. I kinda like how it looks. It's very different. So 
I kind of want to clear coat it. I feel like it will look better clear coated. I don't know. And kind of clear coat it. So let me do that. Okay. These are kind of like rippling under, and I don't like that at all. No black green. I'm gonna have to fix those in the future. That's um, that. I'm gonna move this out of the way and put this in the lamp for another 60 seconds. So this is how they look right now. Um, I really like the index one. Isn't it even focused? No, it wasn't. I really like the index finger. The This finger is like rippling and also the pinky finger, but they look really good. I really like the index finger. It looks really nice, like the whole design thing. Um, I hate that the pinky and the finger is rippling, but um, what do I expect? But yeah, so these are my nails. Um, I'm gonna do the other hand off camera and then take a whole bunch of pictures. Hey, you see me finally. But, um, this was on a tripod. But anyways, I hope you like this look. I like it. My nails are horrible right now because of the cuticles and stuff like that. But I'll take pictures of these and I'll also do my other hand. And I hope you enjoyed this video. See you in the next one. So, as you can see, this is the final result. I hope you enjoyed it. And like I said previously in the previous clip. Later, y'all.